The club versus country debate has been taken to a new level after teams from the top leagues in Europe refused to release their players for the FIFA World Cup qualifiers due to the time their stars would need to quarantine if returning from countries deemed to be on the travel red list. It affects a lot of players. I mean, it affects, let's say, almost just over 60 players in the Premiership. And um, so hopefully with that and, and being a lot of these uh, guys as well coming from, you know, uh, it's not just from Africa, you know, in uh, in South America as well. So it's going to be it's going to be a, a, a very uh, gruesome battle in the next few months with uh, with country club versus country. I do understand. I mean, the clubs, if you have players that you are paying salaries and they are earning so much money from you now, they go and they have to be quarantined for 10 days. You know, if you're playing the English Premier League, you're missing two games. Or you're missing, if you're, there's Champions League, you're missing maybe possibly three games. The South African Football Association has managed to escape the travel restrictions unscathed for their crucial qualifying matches against Ghana and Zimbabwe. We are actually happy that actually CAF came on board and FIFA also came on board to instruct some of these uh, international, uh, what you call, countries to release some of the players for Bafana Bafana. You will remember in our last qualifiers, we couldn't make it on the basis that most of our international players could not come. And I'm excited that players like Pesitao, they actually managed to say that make or break, they'll actually come and play for, for South Africa. The reluctance by the English Premier League clubs to release their players at this time could well shape future transfers and the way countries approach their players moving to European leagues, especially after the ongoing debate over their absence during the Africa Cup of Nations every two years. If the British don't want to change, so it means then um, clubs in Britain are going to start having to look at not signing players from the red zone. <laughs> and, and even, uh, you know, uh, most players from the red zone, their countries um, won't want them to play in the, in the British League. Uh, if they play there and they say they don't pick you for national team. So it, it's going to be, um, so there has to be a give and take, uh, you know, give and take somewhere. Despite all efforts to accommodate the players from so-called red list countries for the 2022 World Cup qualifiers, an impasse has been reached with no clear solution in unprecedented times. The only possible way to ensure both parties are satisfied is to allow quarantine exemptions from the very protocols that ensure not only the safety of players, coaching staff, but also the fans of the beautiful game. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.